Hello, I want to look at conditional formatting in this video and have a quick look at how we can change it so that instead of formatting across the entire group of data, we can um, instead format within the rows. What I mean is this, we have here a bunch of data and we have points and points scored by every single player across multiple weeks. What we can see straight away, because we have the conditional formatting already switched on, is that the highest value in this range that we can see is 21. It's here and it's here. Um, what we want to do is to ensure that everyone's top score is the same color. So I don't want to judge this person's 17 against this person's 21. I want to judge this person's 17 against every other week. So essentially this here and this should be the same color because they're both one. That rank is number one for that particular player. This is not a native um, function in Power BI when it comes to conditional formatting. And it's understandably the source of some frustration. But what we can do is we can choose which measure to apply the conditional formatting to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a measure and then we're going to use that measure for the conditional formatting in this visualization. So let's take a look at the measure. So this is the measure. And our measure states, first of all, that if total points is blank, we apply no rank at all. If it's not blank, then we apply the ranking as described here, as written here. So rank X, calculate table, and then simply all selected prep round. This is the name of the table. This is the column. It could be dates, but in this case, it's just a round number. Um, yeah. And then we're ranking total points and we're leaving these parts blank because we wanted to assort M um, to um, rank it descending. And, um, yeah, I specified dense in this case. And then we close it up and that's it. This is, this is the measure. So again, if it's blank, don't rank it. And then rank X calculate table or select the previous round. I'll have, I'll show you in a second the difference this makes. And then we're ranking total points. This, this is a very, very straightforward measure. Very nice. And it will help us immensely. So just to quickly show you what I meant that this, for example, is our visualization to check to see if that's worked. We, all we have to do is really just apply that measure to the visualization and it'll show us what's happened. So now you can see. This number one relates to this 15. So one, two, because we're going in descending order, of course. So one, two. So 15 is our highest. It's our number one value for this player. And now here, that's our number one because that's the highest for that player. So now you can see that 20 that we had before, which is no longer on the screen because the day has been pushed down. Um, here, for example, is our 20. That's number one. But also this is number one because we're not applying a ranking across the entire data set, but rather within each individual player. It's wonderful. And just to show the difference between our all and all selected, if I were to simply make this all, you would see that the ranking would change. So now, for example, when I do this, when I move my values out, I move them in a little bit. This is not showing one, two, three, or anymore because applied to the entire data set, not what we've selected here in our round, which is why it's important that we keep this to all selected. And now you can see when we change that to all selected, that the ranking will make sense again within our filtered data set. See, this is why we have here all selected. Cool. What we want to do now is we want to take this visualization and we want to, um, apply the conditional formatting to the, to this visualization using this measure. And it's very straightforward. I'll first of all, take out this. We don't need that anymore. And I will then change this. I'll just increase the date range so we get more data. Cool. I'm going to go now to my conditional formatting and I'm going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to change the based on field from total points and I'm going to make it to points rank. So let's type in rank to find that points rank. Beautiful. What I also need to do is change this part because previously the highest number was the best. 
now the lowest number is the best, yeah? So once we've done that, we'll see that we have this. So as we discussed before, what we have now is we have every single player is judged on their own performance, essentially, because a 20 that we saw before, or the highest value that you see in a date range, so this 21 is now in the data that we can see the same color is this 13 because that's the number one value for that particular player so it's really helpful to actually do that so you can kind of change what you're formatting against i'll just quickly change this one back so again we can really highlight the difference there i'm going to change the rank based on back to total points and i'll quickly change this back to how it was and you can see it's a very big difference See, so here we had our 21 and week 30, and that was the lowest value, and everything was judged on this one 21. Now, they each have their own value. That's how you do it. Um, very helpful. A little bit of DAX there for you, and um, can really help add something which is native to Power BI, though it probably will be at some point. Um, yeah, hope that helped. Hope you learned a little bit. Um, provide any feedback if you have a better way of doing it and of course if you like this video if you want to see more click the subscribe button that would also make me very happy thank you very much and goodbye